many friendships essentially de demolished and broken off the back of this because you know Kanye basically doesn't like it when people you know ha have a retort for the things that he does or maybe call his bluff or maybe insinuate that he's dumb or maybe insinuate that he's not learning I don't know what it is there's something he has an insecurity about something that kind of sends him into deep end of this sort of stuff that he doesn't like in the slightest um, he went after flipping Hayley Bieber and insinuated that she's a whore he went after like mad people in this thing and it's just really mad but there is this thinking that I shared beforehand where there was a text going around, somebody shared a screenshot of some DM with somebody who was meant to be in a no, who was alleging that the overall kind of 5D chess plan was for Kanye to do all this stuff on purpose so that he could basically nullify his Yeezy contract with Adidas because he essentially wants to take control of it and basically be able to make Yeezy type designs. I don't think he can actually make Yeezy type designs anymore because I think he's got a non-compete clause in his contract. But regardless, he wants to basically have full ownership of Yeezy and not have it in partnership with Adidas and maybe produce it in whatever factories he's been buying in America these days. And somebody was saying that, or the leak that came out of that DM was basically a legend that maybe Kanye is doing this on purpose so that he can get he can put either in a position where they have to do they have to kind of cut him loose because you know he's deciding to go full MAGA and you know most companies out there aren't full MAGA they're definitely more on the left leaning side of things so it's maybe a, a big ploy to do that but at what cost you get all the money in the world you become uh, even richer than what you are multi 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 million billion dollar guy maybe a billion in the fucking three digits you know whatever maybe but then at what cost you end up you know essentially ostracizing yourself from your community you end up losing some long-term friendships off in the back of it but then you have more money than god and no real people around you to call you out on your shit it doesn't seem like the great life to me but regardless um Ada's statement on it was incredibly vague and incredibly wishy-washy and kind of reminded me of like statements clubs put out about their star player being involved in something untoward like a sexual assault thing or money you know thing or betting thing or car crash or something it's always these kind of weird vague statements because because at the end of the day, those the places like you know fashion and sports are maybe the same in that regard. If you're talented and if you're really good at what you do and you generate clicks and engagement and all that sort of stuff, you sell tickets, people are gonna make excuses for you. And this is them making excuses. And that says as follows. Adidas has always been about creativity, innovation and supporting athletes and artists to achieve their vision. The Adidas and Yeezy partnership is one of the most successful collaborations in our industry's history. We are proud of our team that has worked tirelessly throughout our collaboration with Ye and the iconic products that we were born from it or that were born from it. We also recognize that all successful partnerships are rooted in mutual respect and shared values. After repeated efforts to privately resolve the situation, you would imagine after that sentence it would be like we're terminated, but look at here's what they say. After repeated efforts to privately resolve the situation, we have taken the decision to place the partnership under review. We will continue to com co manage the current product during this period. So it doesn't say that they're going to end the partnership, it just says it's going to be under review. So that means if he comes out and basically declares his love for Joe Biden, <laughs> right, or basically says Ron DeSantis is a scumbag, I don't know, whatever the left wanted him to say, does that mean he'll get his deal back with ADAS and it will all be, will all be forgiven? Like, you niggas can't forget the things he said about you. You can't, especially some of the people that got blasted on his Instagram that has to live with you forever. You can't just let man just get away with just saying stuff like that because he makes cool shoes or he's going to make a decent album here and there. Like that's not, that's not worth it. I think. And of course, kind of reply was very fitting in that respect at the time. What do you say? Where is it? Uh, I think it's this one or this one. Come on. Where is it? Oh, did I kind of move it around again? Where is it? There, that's what replies here. I think. Yeah. Kind of replies as follows regarding the Adidas announcement and we took a screenshot of a tweet you know sharing the relate the kind of announcement from uh, somebody texted him I guess the tweet link and he said fuck Adidas I am Adidas Adidas raped and stole my designs a little bit extra a little bit OTT but you know it's classic Kanye right um raped and stole my designs even though they're in the partnership which is possible to do but anyway regardless um that is the current affairs going on with that whole shebang um hopefully tomorrow is a much calmer day and we can kind of be devoid of having Kanye on our flipping social media stream because I'm tired of it I want to do other things and talk about other things but you know this guy's a big person in culture so I guess in some regards I have to or I'm obliged to cover it but I'm glad it's over I'm glad it's over